the thing when adapting a book, I mean, I, I wrote, I wrote the spin-off of a um, television series called Ulenic, the Golden Piglet in English, Ulenic Norgan, and that was about. I mean, the process there was, we need a feature film, a theatrical release based, well, a spin-off of, of this of this television series, and the television series was. Um, an ad adaptation of a popular, popular children's book. So that was pretty much using, for me that was about using the characters of the series and then make a whole new, st make up a story with those characters that had, they weren't, it wasn't based on any book. The story wasn't based on any book, it was based on characters. That's one, that's one kind of, I don't know if to, if to call it adaptation, but one kind of work where you have some kind of previous material to work with, even if it's characters only. Um, and uh, and the, the thing, and when you do that, you have to understand the character. You have to like, you have to watch as much as you can, read as much as you can, and understand the characters because they have to react in a way that they would uh, in different situations. You you create the situations, of course, you create the the plot, but but they have to react on that plot in a way that's understandable. And uh, and then I, uh, when I wrote the the hypnotist, that was I mean, based on a book. But that was, I mean, it wasn't just going through the book and writing scenes uh, from from A to uh, B to C to D according to the book. It was about capturing the soul of the book and trying to uh, pick out the parts that, as I said before, I asked what people actually thought about what they thought the book was about or what they felt that the book was about and trying to understand the soul of the book and see if that uh, if I felt th if I feel the same when I read and I did uh, generally so I um, so, so that was one way of adapting a book by finding the book soul and trying to make something out of it because this book is a huge book it's as I said two stories a lot of characters a huge book uh, what do you want to what do you want to what do you want to emphasize what can you take away how do you move it around in order to to fit on the big screen and uh, uh, and then you have like a director that uh, that knows not exactly how he wants to tell a story but he knows what he wants to tell and which parts he uh, are are important to him and you have producers and as i said a lot of people that that have an idea so, so uh, that's one way of doing it, and another way of adapting a book, which I haven't, which I haven't done, is by pretty much adapting it. Try to make a book uh, work on the screen as close to the story of the book as possible. That's, I mean, if you take Twilight for example, uh, Twilight one, two, three, and I, I guess the f fourth one is divided into two uh, movies. I mean, if you if you read those books and compare it to the movies, that's pr pretty much, I mean, very much alike, uh, and that's one way of doing it. Um, it probably it depends on what kind of what kind of story it is and, and and what you're asked to do, what it is that they want from it. But you can't be afraid if you feel that a if you look at Fight Club, for example, if you read that book, that the movie is. Um, Based on the book, I mean, a lot of things are the same, but it's more based on a book. You haven't they haven't translated the book into the screen only. They have they have uh, changed it and tried to do their own thing. And that goes for a lot of uh, a lot of stories. Um, so yeah, there are different ways of adapting of adapting a story to to the big screen.